I'm going to be tasting the 2021 vintage of the Chris Hamilton Rosé of Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. Um, so there's a really cool history here with this winery. So Chris Hamilton is a race car driver, uh, fell in love with Napa and got a really, really lucky break because somebody backed out of their fruit contract. So he was able to buy some fruit to start this company. And he also made friends with a very uh, sort of Napa royalty and that's Andy Hoxie. So the Pelissa Hoxie family uh, has the distinction of having a bonded winery license number that's still in the single digits, number nine, which is a testament to their longevity in the Valley. And for over 100 years, they've been lovingly tending a little block of vineyard called the Block House, which was the first planted vineyard in Napa Valley, planted by George Yon in 1838. So he certainly found the right people to be associated with him uh, for his wine project. Now this fruit is predominantly from Oakville Appalachian, from two vineyards, Lincoln and Rock Cairn. Um, and as I mentioned, it is a Cabernet Sauvignon based wine. So you might notice kind of right off the bat with the color, sometimes, you know, if you're having a wine, let's say from Provence, can have a little bit of sort of a more pinkish, higher toned hue. This is just a little bit deeper, a little bit more salmon in color uh, because this is a Cabernet Sauvignon base. Cabernet Sauvignon, of course, has a thicker skin. So let's give this a taste. So right off the bat, there's a ton of like watermelon, raspberry, peach, a little bit of a dried thyme note on the nose as well just really alluring. Now, if you're going to be tasting with me, I really encourage you to swish it all around, let it touch every corner of your palate, because we're going to talk about not just what we're tasting, but the sensations that we're feeling on the palate as well. So I am tasting a lot of the same things I picked up on the nose, watermelon, peach, um, there is a bit of a sort of savory note there. Again, that kind of dried herb note I mentioned with the thyme. Um, it has a really beautiful silken texture. I would say the acidity is medium um, and it's a little bit fuller body than some other rosés you might've had from places like Provence, um, but still, you know, fairly light on its feet. It's got a really nice, long lingering finish. This is a dry wine uh, and really just kind of is begging for food, I think. So personally, rosé is a great option that I recommend all year. It doesn't have to be just a hot weather, summertime glass of wine. It's some sometimes can actually carry an entire meal through when, if you don't want to be bothered with, I need to pair a white and then I need to pair a red, just choose a rosé. It's super, super versatile. And the color just makes people happy.